Hi everybody, it's Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have two little uh, mini journals for you, about four and a half by six and a quarter inches. They are single signatures and about 44 pages. Um, they are part of the Anything Goes series. They're made with leftover papers and there's nothing wrong with the papers. It's just that they weren't large enough for me to use elsewhere. So I created these two little journals. This is number three in the series, and this one is number four in the series. The cover is made out of Christmas tree paper, and I've adorned it with some snowflakes that were glittery. And this is, um, it's not Baker's twine, it's more of a jute. It's tied with a piece of jute, which goes into these um, eyelets. The cover is double-sided. It's made... Uh, it's glued to cardstock and stitched, so it's sturdy. And here's a pocket. And that can go in there, and this is a little writing space. It's a place, place for a picture. Here's a little tuck spot with a vintage girl. Found that on Pinterest. Here's some more pages that you can add pictures to. You can write on this sheet. This one actually has a little picture frame on it. Lots of writing. It's a top of a Christmas bell. It's got a little bit of holly that shows. Here's a little tuck spot or pocket with a tag that says joy to the world, the Savior is born. You can use that for journaling. More writing. Here's another journal card. Tucks in the back of this. And this is a flip up, flip down for writing on. Some plain pages, a printed sheet, some music that I've stamped with gold and blue snowflakes. Here's um, a tuck spot that says Cozy Christmas. It's got a little bit of bling on it. And here's another writing page. And here's a snowman tag tucked behind a belly band. There's some washi. There's a flip up, flip down, some more washi, a little tuck spot, got a little Christmas ball on it, and a writing shape tucked behind there. More writing, blank pages, here's a little tuck spot here, the other side. Here's a center, and I've attached some little um, metallic Christmas balls. There are actually stickers to the tree, and here's the center of the signature, and this is the same paper that's on the front of the journal. More blank pages, a little washi. Washi. Candy cane trim. There's another little tuck spot. It has a little mouse holding onto a candy cane. Another one of those little picture frames. There's a flip down. A rating. Metallic sticker that says Big Jolly. The other side of that music sheet. Washi. Another tuck spot. Another tuck spot that flips up. And a tag that's been stamped with kind of a wisp stamp and then some trim was added to the bottom of it. The other side of the Christmas bell page. Lots of places for photos or whatever and here's another tuck spot. The tag that says Merry Christmas with that same wispy stamp on it. Another little pocket with some washing. And the last page is a printed page, and there's the back cover. Number four is kind of a grayish white. It's bound with that same twine, but I've tied it with a red ribbon. And it's got some glittery snowflakes on it, and a foil snowflake here. It's been stitched and glued to white cardstock. And here it says, let it. 
snow. There's some snowflakes. And you can write on the other side or use it for a tuck spot. And there's um, some border. Here's a um, metallic stickers. May you have a very merry, bright, and cheery little Christmas. Here's some writing spaces. It's basically the same. Uh, it's not laid out exactly the same, but there's a lot of writing in both of them. Here's a little tag you can write on the back. It's been stitched. Here's a little tuck spot here on the side. Here's a flip up, flip down. Plain pages for writing. This one flips out. Left a lot of blank pages, so you could use it for whatever you wanted to. I put some of those little Christmas balls on this for trim. Here's a music sheet that's stamped with those same snowflakes, the blue and the gold more writing. This one has a tuck spot that flips oops, that flips up and then we have a tag that says happy holidays and it has some Christmas balls on it. And here's a little tuck spot with a cat sticker with a he has a little Christmas wreath on his neck. There's another one of those photo frames. Here's part of that bell page more pages to add photos and to write on. Another little tuck spot with a little sheet. Has washi on it. Here's some washi with little Christmas trees. There's some washi here. Here's a fold out page to write on. The center, it's the, the bottom part of the cover. And I added a little deer and a little vintage, I guess it's, I fussy cut it, but I think it was a photo when I um, put it on the corner. Make them kind of look like they're part of the scenery. And here's more, here's the washi. Here's some Christmas ball trim, plain. Place for photo, more writing. There's another flip up. It's not a tuck spot. Here's a tuck spot with another vintage photo. The Santa Claus is coming to town. Tag to write on. Here's some more of that uh, sheet that belongs with the cover. And it flips down. And then you can flip it up and write under it. That's part of the bell printed sheet for photos or whatever. A piece of paper. Uh, lots of writing. Here's another tuck spot. It says Merry Christmas. And here's a little tag with a Christmas tree and a star. And here's um, another tuck spot with a, it's round and it has a little mouse holding onto his candy cane. The other side of the music sheet. you can see there's a lot of blank spaces for you to decorate or write on, add pictures or whatever you'd like to. Here's another photo frame. And the back has a pocket with this little um, reading sheet in it. And that's the back. Well, thank you for watching. I will post this on my Etsy site soon. And uh, please take a look at it. Thank you.